Uh, hi everybody, I uh, hope everybody is keeping well and keeping safe. Um, I've not been on and well, I've not made any videos for a few weeks, a uh, number of reasons really. One of them, I was having some issues with my medication to be fair. Um, I don't think it was the sertraline, uh, but I was getting some, I was getting more, feeling more anxious and you know a lot more anxiety. Uh, which I was a little bit worried about. So, what happened about three weeks ago is my GP upped my sorry sertraline up to 200 milligram, and that initially that was fine, absolutely fine. I was okay with that. Um, no real side effects at all, to be honest. Um, I think I've got used to that stuff now. I've been on it since just before Christmas uh, last year. Um, but initially, I mean, I'm not due to go and see my GP again until a week from today. Which so I've been on the 200 milligram for around about three weeks, I think it is now. Um, and yeah, I didn't think the anxiety was anything to do with the sertraline. To be fair, I think it was more the quetiapine. So I took it upon myself um, to reduce the quetiapine from 75 milligram down to uh, just 125 milligram at night and it's been fine absolutely awesome to be fair and I, I, knew, I knew it was the quetiapine because for a simple reason every time I took them I started to feel worse um, so I, I was starting to get like feel, you know like a more jittery more edgy um, more, it was uncomfortable to be fair. I mean, it didn't stop me getting out, but it made going out uncomfortable. And it, I, I, I knew it was the quetiapine. Um, when I spoke to my GP last, I mentioned to her, I said, I'm not sure this quetiapine's any use anymore. Just for those who've never seen any other videos that I've put on uh, YouTube, I take metazapine, 45 milligram. I was taking quetiapine. 75 but I'm down to 25 milligram now and I take sertraline um, 200 milligram now and I think the sertraline is really good um, I didn't think that was the culprit really for um, giving me the extra anxiety I think it was more to do with the quetiapine and I've, I've over this last week I've slowly reduced the quetiapine and it, I feel a hell of a lot different now um, I think the quetiapine was stopping the sertraline working properly or more efficiently. Um, I feel a lot more clearer now. Um, I feel like I should feel, to be fair. Um, the last few days have especially been awesome. Um, I can think a lot better. I think the antipsychotics was numbing my um, ability to think rationally and I suppose um, just think about what I was doing hence if I were undertaking any projects at home which that's another thing I've been doing uh, for the last few weeks is doing up my home a little bit and changing furniture and things like that and with the I think the antipsychotics I think it was numbing what I was wanting to think if, you, if it makes any sense but like I say, when I first was given quetiapine uh, about a year and a half ago, it was fa fantastic. But I think it's run its course. And like I say, since lowering the dose by 50 milligram, and my intention is to actually come off it altogether after next week. But I will speak to my GP in a week's time. I will let her know I've reduced it further. But now, uh, the sertraline, um, the, you know, it's fantastic. It's... It, it, it's really you know I'm really pleased with it you know I've said it in many videos um, I'm really pleased with it it's it's it, I feel it, certainly it's lifted the depression I get a little bit of anxiety here in there but aren't we meant to I mean you know it's it's not at present the anxiety I do get is nowhere near ruling my life it's not like it was uh, prior to Christmas last year so really pleased 
um, to sort of, but I thought I'd do a video just to update really um, and uh, so I'm you know you know I'm not I've been on the missing list obviously for a few weeks but it's been mainly due to sorting things out at home um, I've just revinyled my computer desk and been buying bits and bats for home um, and doing up doing generally doing up my, you know my flat where I live um, which again I think is a is a really good sign it's certainly as far as depression's concerned um, and again I think that's down to the sertraline I'm pretty well I'm certain it is because that's the newest drug I've been given and I've not really had much bother with it from from the off really I've had side effects on and off intermittently but but you know I've certainly been able to cope with them and like I say I'm up to 200 milligrams sertraline now and uh, it's, go, it's going well it's going really well uh, so like I said before in previous videos I think sometimes with medication you know not, not all medication works you know the same for it for, for, for each of us um, like I say I am on a combination of meds though um, I take for those who don't know I take metazapine 45 milligram now I take quetiapine 25 milligram and obviously the sertraline now 200 milligram and like I say from upping the sertraline from um, 150 milligram to 200 milligram it's not really been any problem it's I think the first night or the second night I um, maybe experienced a little increase I don't know a bit highish if you will but um, it weren't bad though I didn't mind it to be fair um, long time since I've been high um, but it's mellowed out and it's like I say the issues I was having over the last few weeks with anxiety I think there's more to do with the quetiapine and the psychiatrist I was under a while ago uh, he didn't put me on the quetiapine he, he he said to me it's temporary it's very tenny I think he's right because it's run its course um, so I think the, the goal really with the quetiapine is to come off it completely in the next few weeks to be fair um, like I say the 25 milligram I'm having in the moment is not too bad anyway it does help me go to sleep at night if, if anything but no, so really just it was just to say I'm doing okay, I'm doing fine to be fair. Um, 200 milligrams sertraline, great. 45 milligram metazapine, fine. And now down to 25 milligram quetiapine. Um, and I think the goal is for me really is to is to get rid of the quetiapine altogether and just see if I can manage on. Um, but it's been in search really to see how that goes um, I certainly think adding a SSRI to metazapine is really good if it, at some point it um, stops working I will speak to my GP and maybe ask to use duloxetine with with the um, metazapine I, I believe the SNRIs are quite good um, with metazapine, I have tried the venlafaxine before in the past, and it was a bit rough. And the upstart of that was pretty, pretty rough to be fair. So I, I bottled that, bottled out of that one. Um, but anyway, we'll see, we'll see how we go with the sertraline 200 milligram. I think it'll be fine. Um, and I will post more videos shortly. I'll see if I can think of something else to talk about. If you leave a comment if you want to ask me anything, uh, press a subscribe. I will make some more interesting videos in due course. Um, maybe comment and if you want to ask me about my alcoholism or mental health in general. I mean, I've suffered with mental health most of my life. Um, like I say, I've just done a few couple of years at university, got a foundation degree from there in counselling and psychotherapy. So I do plod along. Um, I was a mentor as well at the university so you know if you want to ask me anything 
around anxiety, depression, borderline personality disorder, uh, how I cope, how I cope with sobriety. Please, honestly, ask me anything. Um, make any comments or not, but you know whether it's positive, negative, neutral, whatever. You know, I'll respect every comment. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully chat soon and everybody keep safe. Um, try your best and plod along. Right, okay, bye for now and thanks for listening.